It will be a first for the Highlands, a hotel along Bartstown Road. WLKY's Ann Bowden talked to the businessman behind the vision. Bartstown Road is known for its eclectic shops and popular pubs and restaurants. But one businessman says there is something missing here, a hotel. And he plans to bring it to Bartstown Road. That's correct. I'd like to bring a boutique hotel. It'll be an independent hotel, keeping with the theme of keeping Louisville weird and uniquely Louisville. Glenn Barber says that's the meaning of a boutique hotel and what Hotel Louis will be. That's why you see the glass panes that you do. Those are LED lights, and so we'll be able to change the colors. So when UK and U of L play, we'll be red and blue. St. Patrick's Day, all green. Christmas, red and green, and so on. The proposed $10 million hotel would have more than 50 rooms and suites, costing from $199 to just over $300 a night, along with a rooftop bar and restaurant. For the suspected increase in traffic, Barber says there will be additional parking on the street, the hotel grounds, and an underground parking garage. It would be a first for the Highlands. I just think that it's something that's needed. I mean, that's it. I don't, I don't know what else I can say. With the closest hotels being downtown or closer to the Waterson, In Jung Che sold this house to Barber because he sold on Hotel Louis. The two neighboring lots in the 1300 block of Bardstown near Mid City Mall make up the half acre where the hotel would be built. Barber says locals are already buying into the idea. And a hotel here which is convenient to downtown but also convenient to all of the restaurants and all of the nice things on Bardstown Road would be a great thing. With so many investors interested and in contacting him, Barber says that he has confidence there will be a hotel here that residents built. Here on Bardstown Road, Ann Bowden, WLKY News. And right now, Barber says that a crowdfunding is already jump-starting the money for the project. $5 million is needed to meet equity requirements. He can then register the hotel with the Security Exchange Commission and hopefully start building.